Alright guys, so we're doing another remote scene from Amazon. Yes, I know it's been a month since I did something on Amazon. But yeah, um, it's a wrestling figure for Basic Series 127. Zach Keith Lee, someone else that y'all probably may know from NXT. So here we go. I thought I paused this scene. Alright guys, so we got the former Impact Wrestler. Yes, y'all may know, Satanos Escobar used to work for Impact Wrestling. And yes, he used to be a former Cruiserweight Champion for nearly a year until he lost to Kushida. So yeah, I, check this out. I had to get this because it was pretty cool. That kind of had this character on my mind since um, he's a playable character on 2K22. But yes, um, here's a, here's like his um things removes Phantom Driver, Sunset Driver, and yes, the gimmick star for him is a high flyer. So maybe for Keith Lee, he's like a super a powerhouse. But yes, you can also get him on Amazon, which I might think about getting him really soon if they don't change the price to it. So you get Rey Mysterio, Walking Wild, which is his first time in the line figure. Which, um, yeah, he used to be working for Impact Wrestling. I think, I'm not for sure. He used that DJC gimmick and Shayna Baszler. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get him out of the pack and see what he looks like. Alright, guys, so here's the figure itself. So, yes, um, it's. I want to say his attire is like his, his base all Rey Mysterio's attire from WCW Halloween Havoc 1997, I think. Because you could tell, like, look, question marks, question marks, and literally the same design that Rey Mysterio has on the ties. Now, I'm going to be right back and show you guys an example of what I mean by this, so, oh. Uh, Alright, guys, so. Here's this Raymond Zero Jr. I bought years ago. Yes, he has a little question mark on him. But for Santana Escobar, he has like a, a like Melgo Del Faust. I don't know how you pronounce that name in WWE that him and Walking Wild use. But yes, um, this one really expired off. It's like the Phantom, but this one right here is purple. Which, this one right here is, like, orange. And, yes, I know you're going to ask, how long have I had this Raymond Sierra for? Maybe about, like, September 2019-ish. Looks pretty skinny. Like, see, he looks, he can barely stand. Well, yeah. Um, anyway, guys, so, yeah, um, Satella Escobar, he's, like, 6'1". I'm not even joking, he's taller than Raymond Sierra. It was really weird. I found it really weird. This is actually the first time I see purple knee pads. Also, this dude, he has pretty cool tattoos. He has like um, he has like an eagle tattoo, a yin yang tattoo, a butterfly, and the other one I want to say it's like uh, I don't really know. Can somebody comment down what this type of tattoo is he has on his back, please? But, um, anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe.